Hello everyone and welcome to the video, and today we're going to be talking about possibly the best build in the DLC so far. So, I haven't tested every single weapon, however, with what I have tested, this seems to be the runaway favorite. It does incredible damage very, very quickly. It It's just a really, really great build, as you can see by the damage. If you guys enjoyed this video and find the build helpful, make sure to drop that like, as well as a sub to the channel. I have tons of Elden Ring content, so if you want to see how to get any item in the game or good builds, make sure you drop that sub. But now we're going to get into the items of the builds. So, we are using the Keen Backhand Blade Plus 25. We have Bloodhound Step on this, and I'm not a huge fan of the original Ash 4. We have the Dragon Communion Seal. You could use any seal, however. As for the armor of the builds, you would ideally want the White Mask, but because it doesn't match, I just prefer to rock with Dialis Mask. Messimer's Armor, Fire Knight Gauntlets, and Hoslow Greaves. I think that this just looks excellent on the build. And this is just keeping us at a light load. As you can see, if I go over by literally less than half a pound, it becomes medium. So you definitely want a light load. As for the talismans of the build, we are running Lord of Blood's Exaltation, Millicent's Prosthesis, Ritual Sword Talisman, and Rotten Winged Sword Insignia. If you're going to swap any of these out, I would say you could either swap out the Ritual Sword Talisman or the Lord of Blood's Exaltation and opt for any of the defensive options. For our Flask of Wonders Physic, we have the Thorny Cracked Tier and the Dexterity Knot Crystal Tier. For the stats of the builds, unedited, we have 60 Vigor, 12 Mind, 47 Endurance, 11 Strength, 70 Dexterity, 14 Intelligence, 25 Faith, and 10 Arcane. And this isn't the final stats, as you can tell I took off Millicent's Prosthesis, so when I put this back on, we now have 75 Dexterity, but that's not where it ends, because we also have the Godric Rune, I think it is, and this increases all of our stats plus 5, and then we pop the Wondrous Physic on top of that, and just like that, now we have 65 Vigor, 17 Mind, 52 Endurance, 16 Strength, 90 Dexterity, 19 Intelligence, 30 Faith, and 15 Arcane. For the incantations of the build, obviously we're running Golden Vow and Flame Grammy Strength, and then the Blood Flame Weapon. I'm going to show you guys now a boss fight where I was helping some people fight Raylana, just to see the damage, and as you can tell, the damage is pretty solid. I mean, this boss has tons of health, and these swords do great damage as it is, but I feel like the blood loss effect is just so valuable in boss fights because it literally takes giant chunks out of a boss and with a boss like this we're talking thousands of damage just on one blood loss and i know what you guys might be thinking you might be thinking well how are we supposed to know how good this build is if there's two other people in here doing damage as well and that's why i went on ahead and i soloed melania very very easily and this is going to show you exactly how good this build is. So I'm just going to leave this footage in the background of me beating up Melania. And just take this time to thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. And again, if you want to see any more Elden Ring content for builds or any items, make sure to drop that sub and um, check out my channel. I have a lot of videos up already. But that's pretty much it for me today. So thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you next time.